Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video that was requested from some of you and I figured I would go ahead and do it just in case anyone else who is not subscribed to my channel wants to know how to do this. I figured I would go ahead and just throw it up there. So today I'm going to be showing you how I do my coconut oil hair mask and I do this about once a week and if you don't know what a hair mask is, obviously I'm going to be showing you what it is in this video. If you can hear squeaking in the background, my dogs are playing, so just kind of ignore that and also ignore my face. I'm having a skincare day, so I didn't want to throw on any makeup for this, so just ignore that as well. But um, I'm obviously going to be showing you what a coconut oil hair mask is and how I make it, how I do it, just the entire process. And let me tell you guys, this is absolutely amazing. It's super duper healthy for your hair. It has given me such great benefits. I don't know. I just, I love the way it, oh, I just love what it does to my hair. So I'm going to be showing you how I do that. So some things that you're going to need is one, you're going to need kind of like an old like t-shirt. I'm just wearing this band t-shirt. Um, you're going to need that because sometimes coconut oil can stain or like leave like oil marks. You know what I mean? So just wear an old t-shirt that you have, um, you know, just to wear while you're doing the mask. Um, the next thing you're going to need is a little bowl. And you can either use a like a hair dye brush or you can use just your fingers. That's totally fine too. But you're going to need a bowl. I'm just using this little glass bowl here. And then obviously you're going to need your coconut oil. And the coconut oil that I am using is the 100% pure Luana coconut oil. It just looks like this. It's almost gone. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish up this bottle here in the video. And then go and get more. Because I do do this once a week. You can do it once a week. That's totally fine. Do you hear the squeaking? dogs. <laughs> There are many different ways you can do a coconut oil hair mask, but I'm just going to be showing you the way that works best for me and the way that I found most beneficial. So just after you have all the things, you are ready to go ahead and get started. So we're just going to jump right into it and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so once you have your bowl and your coconut oil, this is pretty much what it looks like when you open it up. It's just a really kind of interesting, kind of like applesauce type texture, and then you're just going to want to put as much as you want into the bowl. This all kind of depends on how much coverage you want to get with the coconut oil and how long your hair is. Since my hair is a lot longer than it used to be, I'm just going to be filling just the bottom part of the bowl, and then I will be using this much to cover my whole head, because when I do my coconut oil hair mask, Mask, I usually do the whole head. So as you can see the texture is very very funny. There really isn't a smell to it and it's very very messy and very oily. So here's pretty much what it looks like. As you can see it's kind of just really weird and chunky and after you have enough coconut oil into the bowl you're going to want to heat it up if you want to. Heated up coconut oil works better in my opinion and from what I've researched. So depending on how hot your microwave is just heat it up. I'm going to be putting mine in for 45 seconds and just going to let that heat up. When it does get really hot it starts to turn into a liquidy type moisture so just kind of let that heat up go do something for 30 seconds and then come back and take it out. So here's basically what it looks like, just really kind of clear and really hot as well. So now it is time to start the coconut oil mask. And for that, I'm going to be using this just little hair dye brush that I got off Amazon. And then, of course, the coconut oil, obviously. You're going to want to do this in your bathroom where you have an easily easy floor to clean up if you spill and literally I just start applying it right onto my head just right at the roots and work my way down this can be time consuming depending on how of a perfection how much of a perfectionist that you are and I just like to really focus and get it really into the root area and get it all down my head and down onto my ends as well so just wherever you really want to focus it apply a lot of it there um, I like to put it at the root because I just feel like it stimulates the root of the hair and just makes the root of the hair a lot healthier I don't know so that's just how I think I guess and then I just kind of part my hair and continue the process everywhere on my head I'm 
sorry if the lighting is really bad, but I don't have any like professional studio lighting and bathroom lights always make things look really funky. So I apologize for that. I hope you can see everything okay. Um, pretty much what I do is I just finish up the root area. I bring it to the front of my head, um, into the back of my head, and then I start working it down the hair shaft, as you can see here. Just really, just really starting to get messy with it now. I just really apply it everywhere, making sure that I get all of the areas that I want to get to. I also do underneath my head as well. For the ends of my hair, I simply just hold them in my hand and I just apply the coconut oil directly to them while they're in my hand, just so I know they're getting direct contact and they're getting nice and soaked with the oil. After that, after I get like all of the main parts, I just move on to using my fingers instead. And I just literally brush all of the coconut oil through my hair, kind of like just finger combing it and just, you know, just saturating my entire head in coconut oil because that's just what I really like to do. This really benefits your hair, making it nice and soft. It really builds strength and health to your hair as well. Sorry, I was yelling at my dog there. He was trying to lick the floor. So uh, yeah, so basically I just do this, just making sure I get it nice and saturated all throughout my hair. For those wondering, I do have a side cut. I don't have just like a random bald spot that was done on purpose, just so you know. And what I also like to do towards the end of the application is I like to just massage the scalp of my head a little bit just to kind of stimulate the root of the hair and also get the coconut oil deeper into my scalp. It feels really good, it's really relaxing, and I'm sure it's beneficial in some way. So here's pretty much what my hair looks like all done. The next thing I do is I take a paper, or paper, a plastic bag and a hair clip. You can use a shower cap if you have one, but you don't have to. A plastic bag works just fine. And then I just kind of put my hair up in this little kind of, you know, little bun. And then I take the bag and apply it over top of my head to kind of trap in any heat and also keep my hair in place while the coconut oil is sitting. I then release all of the air out of the bag and then I just take the hair clip and clip the bag to my head to make sure that it's not going to go anywhere. Um, you might need to do this a couple times. I remember the first time I did this, it took me forever to get the bag like on the right spot. So after you do that, just clip it in place and then you are pretty much done with the mask. So it is five minutes to 12 right now, and I'm going to leave that on for exactly one hour. You can leave it in for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, but I like to do an hour and then a little then some. So I leave it on for that long. And as the hour pass, it is now five minutes to one. And the last five minutes of the coconut oil mask, I like to apply heat to my hair. And for that, I'm just using this little Conair hair dryer, just a really basic hair dryer. And I'm gonna use low heat on my hair for the last five minutes. So until one o'clock, I'm just gonna be, you know, kind of rotating the hair dryer all around my head so I get even application of the heat. Don't hold it in one spot for too long for the very obvious reason of you know possible breakage but I just kind of move it all around my head to make sure that my hair is getting you know just kind of heating up the oil I guess as you you know I don't really know what I'm saying <laughs> After you do that for the last five minutes, you can now take out the bag and the clip and then you can rinse it out. So pretty much when you take the bag off of your head, this is what your hair looks like. Totally greasy, wet, oily, just really yucky. And then basically all you do from here is you just shower. So just turn on your shower, not too hot of water, just kind of lukewarm water and shampoo as usual. I'm going to be using my mane and tail shampoo just to kind of help rinse out all of the oil. That's very important. And I'm also gonna be toning my hair with a little bit of shimmer lights and after that you are all finished hey guys so it is now the next day after I did the coconut oil hair mask as you guys just finished watching um, this is pretty much what it turns out like I 
cannot tell you how amazing the coconut oil hair mask is. It just makes your hair so incredibly shiny, soft, just absolutely gorgeous. If you try this and you don't see results on the first try, don't give up. Try it again and try it again and I guarantee you will see results. I absolutely love this. I thought I would just show you the day after so I could show you how shiny my hair was and just how like, you know, just full it looks. I don't know. I just really like the way it makes my hair feel and it makes my hair look really good. Like it's just really really soft, really fluffy, really shiny, and it just looks really, really healthy, which is very important. So I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like from the back. I don't even know if you'll be able to see. But there's just what my hair looks like. It's just really super shiny. I just really, oh, I just love it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. If you try it and you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up and be sure to share it with your friends just in case they want to know how to do it as well. But until then, I will see you guys very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.